Hi, I wanted to share, I have been on a bit of an at-home fitness journey and as a part of that journey, I'm trying to save money and save a little bit of time. It was really hard for me to adjust to a trainer's schedule and put that into my financial budget as well. So the things that the trainer would do for me is take a bunch of calculations and tell me what my body needs based off of that. And as part of my at-home journey, I have invested in this beautiful little smart scale right here. Um, first off, I really like the way that the scale itself is designed because it is in my bathroom and it is on display for anybody who goes in there and the design is really sleek the modern look of it is just something pretty that sits out and it's really sleek so I actually um slide this kind of like under my towel rack so it's really nice that it fits in there and this being a smart scale, I want to show you the app that goes along with it. So this is the Fit Days app and it asked me a couple of questions about myself. So it asked me, male or female, when my birthday is, so how old I am and how tall I am. And then it takes my initial weight and then ask me this question right here. So it says, um, would you like to switch into athlete mode? And it says right here, athlete mode will adjust the body composition calculation model. So this is for those who are engaged in physical exercise for a long time or have a frequency of more than three times per week. So this is going to be for somebody who's probably a little bit more advanced than I am. So I went ahead and turned mine off. But if you are somebody who is very closely monitoring um, muscle mass and probably water and protein intake as well, then that's going to be something that you want to watch. I am a little bit more of a beginner, so I will be checking in for my weekly or possibly bi-weekly weigh-ins. When I pull up my profile here, you will see it has weight, BMI, um, and just a couple of my more basic things. And then what I can do is I can flip over here into my details and this guy shares so much with me so i want to break down this a little bit for you so it has a place for my weight my bmi body fat not only body fat but the amount of my body weight that is fat free and the amount of my body that uh, the weight that comes from fat it measures where that fat is located so whether it's good fat or bad fat um my water intake the amount of my weight that is muscle or bone it holds muscle mass um it shows an overall body age and it also shows um the amount of calories that my body should be taking for what my goals are so when i set up this profile i set it to uh, my goal of losing 10 pounds and this has calculated not only what's going to get me to my goal but also what's healthy so where i should be what's average what's great and what's maybe not so good so I'm dropping into my wee details here and I feel like I can share this stuff with you guys. I feel like we're friends. And this right here is my weight on a scale. So it breaks down. If I were to lose X amount of weight, then that would be unhealthy too low for me. And if I were to gain X amount of weight, then that would be too high for me. And that's good to know because when I set my goals, if I said that I wanted to be 
115 pounds, then it would show me that that's not a healthy weight for me and a person that is 5'7". So um, something else I wanted to show, it also tracks BMI and your body mass index is kind of telling the same thing, um, whether the amount of weight that you have is proper to your proportions. Um, let's flip through a couple of other ones. Muscle mass. So this shows right here that my muscle mass is 93.6 pounds. And then it shows what a normal muscle mass is for somebody my size, what an excellent muscle mass would be, and as well as a low. So I know that starting at 99.69 pounds would be considered an excellent muscle mass for somebody my size. So if I could get another six pounds of muscle mass on me, then that would be a great goal. Um, so also on here, I said I set my goal for losing 10 pounds. And this shows that 1,445 calories a day would be sufficient. But because I'm looking to lose a little bit of weight, it calculated a bit of a calorie change that would help me reach my goal. And if any of these were something that you were confused about, you can see in the little drop down that it explains it a little bit for you. So it explains things like visceral fat, um, body water percentages, and I think that this is really great for any beginner because if there is something about your body in particular that you're not sure how you should be watching, maybe you're gaining weight but you're not sure if it's fat or muscle, then this can kind of give you a little bit of an understanding and help you set your goals a little bit better. I also wanted to show that right here I set up my profile but I also have a profile for my husband so we can both store our information on here separately but um, we'll still be able to track ourselves. So these are the graphs that can show our progress and this is a new scale to me so I don't have a lot of progress but you can go based off of week, month, year. So in the long term of your journey you can kind of see where you started and ended and it kind of keeps you on track a little bit more, I think. But regardless, I think that this guy is really cool. I think it's going to save me a lot of money because I don't have to go to um, the gym necessarily to get this kind of help and see a trainer. This is something that I can track on my own. And also it's helping me learn a lot, which is helping me develop those goals a little bit better. And I think that this is going to make my at-home eating and workouts a lot more effective.